These were put in, I think, bus depots and as a, an awareness measure, uh, it, it has like, instead of apps, damaged immune system, headaches, memory loss, sleep disorders, damaged sperm count, brain tumor. And I think I'm correct that this was attacked by uh, industry and needed to be removed. It was, um, we, we, have, we received a complaint from the Appetite and Standards Agency and they'd obviously received complaints from industry. And they, were, they, they asked us to remove them. And they, they're actually in service stations along the motorway. And, um, and anyway, we've reached virtually the end of, of the campaign with, with, with the posters anyway. But we did set up a challenge, you know, and, um, and, and asked them why they have to be removed. You can't see why there's any controversial message within it. It's actually stating the truth and the research that's there. And for, for just no reason at all, you know, the, the Advertising Standing Agency have said that there is no evidence of harm and that we have to remove them despite the fact that everything we've prevent, presented is peer reviewed published research uh -huh. and is showing evidence of harm. So this is what we're up against, you know. And here um, is... And then that's happened again, which I have a slide of what, what's happened now with 5G, but I wanted to share this too. This is a poster uh, that was put, you can see in urinals, your future is in your hands. Medical experts are warning men not to keep their mobile phones in their pockets as this can have a direct effect on their fertility. Do you want to talk about this campaign very briefly? Yeah, um, the same happened with this campaign as well. This was in, um, I think it was 2011. And we were ordered to remove those posters. And the same, you know, we asked why, and then they asked us to, they said there was no evidence. So we actually worked with Alistair Phillips from Power Watch as well at that time and presented the research and the evidence. And even then, we were still told that, um, that they still felt there was no evidence of harm. And so they weren't, they, they said we weren't allowed to, to do it again, to, you know, have the posters there again. And they were, to be removed. So, wow. You know, even when we've got the evidence, we've got the research, we're stating the facts that have already been stated by officials, uh, I don't know how they can ask to have this sort of information removed. And it seems to be getting worse at the moment with the censorship that's going on and the freedom of speech. Uh, it seems to have gone to another level now with 5G. That uh, um, our freedom of speech now is, is um, really being stamped upon even more, and the censorship is just you, unbelievable. Yes. Hey, could you talk about this poster I have up? This is the most recent. Well, this uh, is the most recent one that was run last year, and it's mainly um, ES UK, and if they're sensitive to UK, and uh, we've worked in hand with them with our logo and radiation research trust and um, it's asking a question how safe is 5g you know it's, it's a question and then it's just asking um, you know whether it, it, it's pointing to the facts that um, you know what was the problem in 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 in, in raising a question and 5g hasn't been proved to be safe yet and yet, even just by raising this question, we've been asked to remove the posters again by the Uptight and Standards Agency. And, it, and the same, there's no evidence of harm, but they've got no proof of safety 